some over there. A couple hundred yards out. So we're just waiting till I get a, a big uh, herd come through. See if there's any bulls in it. So we moved up about 400 yards. And they're right over there. But they are also like 350, 400 yards. Unfortunately, it looked like they were moving away. They might be coming back. But this is the spot that we've seen a bunch of caribou crossing and up on the ridges and stuff over there across the river. So hopefully we'll get another herd or two to come over. Maybe a small group of bulls. And just waiting here. Well, we're back at camp. That, uh, Caribou hunt stock did not work. Uh, they, they got us at about 300 yards. Took it off, so. But we did get a bunch of ptarmigan. A couple bags of ptarmigans. So, we're gonna eat them up and, as you can see, the weather's come in a bit. A little bit of wind, overcast, rain. Go at it again tomorrow morning, hopefully. See how that goes. So, there's a little fire going. All right, till tomorrow. Hello, everybody. It is, uh, I don't even know, day seven, six, seven. See the weather is still kind of there. Got some breeze, got some rain, overcast, a little foggy out there. Cooked up some ptarmigan last night, delicious. Have a leak in my tent, not, not so good. Luckily it didn't hit my bedding area that much. A little bit on top. But, uh, yeah, you can still see pretty, pretty far out there so we're gonna go driving around see if we can find any uh, caribou it's more time again and uh, yeah just go with the flow today all right so as is typical on our day out have a whole bunch of ptarmigan right in here and uh, just gonna make my way in on them. I think that's a ptarmigan right there. Sure is. some feathers but all the rest of them haven't moved so we'll thirty-five ah there they go there they go that's a shame just nicked that one
few feathers. Just take a slight little walk over here. Cause not not all of them seem to be flying. Uh, whenever the flock takes off, every once in a while you get like one or two that stay back for some reason. So we'll just walk up this way, see if any of them, so they flew down over there. But as you can see, one thing that's uh, difficult hunting big game up here is just the flatness. Now we do have a little bit of a dip here. With this river or slough, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, that is crystal clear. Well, the ptarmigan are safe. We're up on the other side. Not. All right, same thing as last time. We got some time again out over here. Uh, see if we can't get up on them a bit. Gotta make sure I don't. Oh. Gotta make sure there's none here. Not like that's easy to do. So there's one. Son of a gun. Is that one still right there? Nope. What a flock. They're getting As the week goes on, they're getting more and more skittish because guys are pulling over and taking a few, which is understandable. Not many caribou crossing right now. We've seen a few guys with some racks, a couple decent ones. A couple days ago, we had that uh, set of four big bulls. Unfortunately, those other guys got in there but uh, they were 
whichever one of them shot had a horrible shot but this morning we saw them I think they had a small rack in their bed Went right by number 32 right there. Actually, let me put it over that way there. Let's see if we can't get up in there. That whole flock is somewhere right in there. Yeah! Let me see. Eighty one. Seems like no eighty one yards. Well, there they all go. All right, well, they outsmarted me. They got me this time.
Bit right there. Quite a few of them. Oof. And try this again. Got some ptarmigan over here. Two, I currently see. Damn it. A little short. Story of my life, right? <laughs> Exercise and stupidity. Try to get one of these term again. I don't know what I'm doing. My bow is off. I've been getting term again all week so far. As we saw, I got feathers, but they flew off. Here, across. Ah, jeez. See here. <sighs> Again. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Are they gonna fly the nope, still there. Back at camp. Saw a few groups of caribou, but they were way, way off. I should have had, I don't know, probably 10 ptarmigan today. I think my pin is not exactly at 30 yards. Uh, there's a whole group of geese going off. I hear more. So, last night here, tomorrow we're going to pack up and head back south towards Antigun, Antigun Pass or whatnot. And then from there, uh, hunt down there Saturday um, for a couple hours, then head to Fairbanks, then Sunday Fairbanks back to Valdez. But... Uh, Definitely have some good insight for next year if I'm still here. So that's good to have. So, yeah. <laughs>